Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this flow series we will see how to automatically update related records using Salesforce flow. So in this video we will take one scenario and using that scenario we will identify which flow type we need to use to update related records and using that flow type we will see how to create flow, how to debug it and after activation that flow we will see how the flow will work. To better understand let's take a scenario. So here is the scenario whenever the active field so this active field is custom field which I created on the account object. Now when this active field is changed from yes to no all the related opportunity of this particular account that are in open stage should be changed to close lost. So first I will explain this scenario on salesforce org. So this is sales application I am opening the account object. Now open any record. As you click on details here you will see all the fields from the account object. As you scroll down here you can see here we have active field as you click on it to edit here you can see here we have this one is pick list field. Now first we will see the opportunity records which are related to this account for that here you can see related tab click on it and as you scroll down here you can see here we have five opportunities which are related of this particular account. Now again go to the details and as we change this account status here from S yes to no and save this record after that the related opportunities here you can see the related opportunity stage should be automatically update to close lost that means this account will no longer be active now so again I am changing these details the active field S yes, and then save now we will create flow to automate this process click on gear icon then click on setup In the quick find box search for flows under the process automation we have flows click on it we are going to create new flow for that here you can see here we have new flow button click on it now after the updation here we have two options start from scratch and then use a template here we are going to create start from scratch and then click on next now here we need to choose which flow type will be used so whenever we want to create update or delete records we need to use record trigger flow. So in this scenario we want to update related records for that we need to select record trigger flow and then click on create. So in the start element first we need to select object on which object we are going to create this flow. So as you click on this object here you will see all the standard and custom objects. Here we need to select account and then we need to configure trigger. So in this option we need to choose when the flow will trigger. So in our case when the active field change from S to no then the flow should trigger. So at that time we are updating the account record for that here we need to select account is updated. Then as you scroll down here we need to select set entry conditions. Then in the condition requirement select all condition met. And then here you can see when to run flow for update records here we have two options every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirements and second one is only when the record is updated to meet the condition requirements. Now when we select the first condition and update the record every time it will check and flow will trigger and then if we select the second condition the only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements that means whenever only active field is updated that time this flow will trigger. So in the field here I am going to select active field this one is a custom field then in the operator equals and then in the value as you click on it here you will see pick list values which we added in the pick list values while creating this field and here we need to select no. Now this condition says when the active field is equal to no then only this flow will trigger. Now as you scroll down here you can see here we have optimized the flow for and here we have two options fast field update and then actions and related records. So in this scenario we are going to update the related records for that we need to select actions and related records. If we are updating any field in the same object that time we can select fast field updates. Now here I have selected this one and then simply click on close this. Now we need to update the related records that means opportunity record based on this condition. For that here you can see here we have add element icon click on it 
and here we need to add update records element for that here I am searching update records or you can select update related records here I am selecting update records and then enter label here I am entering update opportunity as you click on APA name it will automatically populate then as you scroll down how to find records to update and set their values here we can fetch related record IDs that means in this case we can fetch the related opportunity IDs and here also we need to add some conditions for that here you can see specify condition to identify records and set fields individually here I am selecting this option and then scroll down here we need to select the related record on which we are updating the fields we can search opportunity here we have standard opportunity object click on it and then again scroll down and now we need to specify the condition now first we need to apply the condition to match the IDs for the opportunity object to the account object for that as you click on fields here we will see all the fields from the opportunity object and here you can see here we have account ID which is the relationship field click on it then operator equals and then in the value as you click on it scroll down and here you will see the global record which is account that we selected in the start element click on it and then here we need to select id account id now we need to add another condition so in this condition we will select stage name so that this stage name should not equal to closed one because whatever opportunities are there which are closed one and if we change the status from the account object the closed one opportunities also will be not longer to use for that whatever opportunity stage name we are going to change or we are going to update that should not equal to close one for that here I am going to select stage name in the operator select does not equal and in the value closed one and again we need to add another condition same for the stage name because if the stage is already closed lost then also we don't need to change it for that again stage name does not equal closed lost now scroll down and here we need to set fields for the opportunity record so here we are updating the stage name and we need to set values for that closed lost because whenever the active status from the account object changed from S yes to no all the related opportunity stage update close lost and then simply close this now I am saving this flow enter the flow label update related records the flow API name will automatically populate then click on save so here is the error I already have one flow with the same name for that we need to change the label update related opportunities then click on save so the flow successfully saved now before the activate flow we need to debug it here I am clicking on debug and then in the account we need to select any account so here I am selecting United Oil and Gas Corporation then scroll down and here you need to find the active field so here we have active field here I am changing the active field from S to no and then click on run as you click on run the flow successfully debug to see the debug details click the update records and here you can see and here you can see the stage name changed close lost now we are ready to activate this flow for that click on activate button the flow is activated now I am navigating to the account object there we will see how this flow will work now this record we already seen before creating the flow here I am refreshing this page as you scroll down to see the active field here we have active field value as S and now again check the opportunity records 
here you can see there is one opportunity stage is closed one and other is different now i am changing the active status of this account record click on edit active status change from s to no and then simply click on save button now this status is changed again go to the related records scroll down to the opportunity here you can see the closed one opportunity does not changed but the other opportunities here you can see all the opportunities are set to close lost in this way we can update the related records using salesforce flow so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you